Iron Eyed, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Sakibis 2. Wait, no. 3! <laughs> My brain! <laughs> but uh, welcome back. Today, we are actually capping off from where we literally had talked to Cosmos and actually had a date with her. So uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful day for that time. So why not? I might as well do it. So yeah. Anyways, let's get back straight into it. A few days later. Ah, Agazawara! You're just the man I wanted to see. My boss greets me joyfully when I arrive at work on Monday morning. He slaps me on the back with one of his large meaty hands and I try to suppress a groan. I'm glad my boss has warmed to me or warmed up to me after years of my work underneath him, but being in his good grace is almost as painful as being in his bad books. Those hearty slaps of his hurt. Damn it. I'm not a small guy by any means. I'm one of the tallest people in my office, but my boss is tall and wide. I think he must have an extra po 100 pounds on me, if not more. I hope he hasn't left any bruises. Now, what are you doing, lad? Sit down, sit. I have something I want to discuss with you. It's a highly important matter. Right. What is it? I have a job for you. It should prove to be pretty interesting too. More so than taking photos of, uh, oh, sorry, more so than taking photos at a dull political events. Uh huh. He's a bit of a leech, and he loves running articles on famous idols, actresses, and pinup models. This is Upstrimply, sorry, Upstrimply in the name of selling more copies of our newspaper, but in actuality, I think my boss is just like gonking at all the photographs of pretty women I snapped for him. This is nothing wrong with gunking at pretty women, of course, idols, actresses, and pin up. Models are in the business of being gawked at, but my boss doesn't do much to hide the, his interests, shall we say. He's so transparent. So, what's this job? Do you want me to meet some celebs again? Yes, indeed. I have it on good authority that there should be several important people at this event. Wakazuki Arena, chief among them. Arena? I sit up a little straighter. Marina's name had picked my interest. Or piqued my interest. Damn it! <sighs> Do you want me to take some photos of her for the upcoming article? Her and whoever happens to be there. A big charity event is going to be held the weekend after next, you see. It'll all be set up by Miss Wakazuki. She arranged a ball for the social elite with cha champagne and... <clears throat> caviar the works there'll be an orchestra and hundreds of people will be there the price of entry is steep but all proceeds to go towards developing a new children's wing at a local hospital oh really I haven't heard didn't miss Wakazuki tell you about it she didn't have a chance She's been busy with work. Maybe this is why it had been so silent on Marina's front for the last few weeks. She must have been busy arranging this charity ball on top of her other responsibilities. Marina sure is a hard worker. That's a shame. I'm rather banking on her on your continued relationship with Miss Wakazuki. It's thanks to your relationship that we're being invited to all of the prejudiced jobs. My boss slapped me on the back hard. 
Don't let her get away from you now. I, uh, I'll do my best, sir. Not that Marina's a fish or anything. Good lad, that's the spirit. Marine might have informed you about this event, but she's kind enough to tell me all about it. She sent me an email this morning asking if I wish to cover it on my paper. She requested that I send it over to send you over to take some photos of it. It's good PR for her and her company. She asked for me? By name. Do you think you're up to the challenge? My co-workers are beginning to whisper this. They're trying to keep their voices down, but I can still hear them. What? Okazawara again? He's not the only photographer in his office. Why does he get all the best jobs? The boss never used to rate him so much, but now he's putting all his faith in him. This isn't fair. I'm a better photographer than he is. If anyone deserves to go to this event, it's me. Well, we all know life isn't fair. It's not a meritocracy. Whether you get ahead or not, it's all determined by who you know and not what. I sure wish Rakazubuki Marina would pay attention to me. What does she see in Ogazawara anyway? This is it. This is official. There is no God. I have no faith in this world. The co-workers commemorate with one another, all the while shooting me vicious glances. If looks could kill, I'll be dead several times over. Fortunately, looks can't kill, and I'm very much alive. I just need to try and ignore them. Being an object of the office, collective jealousy is painful, but there's no point trying to argue back. It'll be a waste of my breath. And in any case, I'm too excited about this opportunity to pay what they have to say much heat. The ball itself sounds like it'll be a fun event. Maybe I'll be able to try Fosse Cassi. Okay, <laughs> hold on. But I'm more excited about seeing Marina again. It's been ages. Y yes, sir. I'll do it my best. I'll. Y yes, sir, I'll do my best. I knew you would. Make sure you make a good impression. You'll be representing our paper for to a whole ballroom full of rich and the famous. Make sure you brush your hair for once and don't wear those awful jeans. Make yourself a nice suit. Yes, sir. I reply with a touch less enthusiasm than before. I never thought of my boss as a very homey guy, but he's starting to sound like my dad. I wonder if my boss has any kids of his own. He's old enough for it, but I've never heard of him mentioning, mentioning me, uh, but I've never heard him mention having a wife or a mistress, nor a family. I want you to take a lot of photographs. You need to capture the glitz and the glamor of this event in its fullest. You can't afford to screw this up. It's an important opportunity. And if it's not too much trouble, my boss grins, I'd like you to butt Miss Wakazuki up too. Flatter her ego. Try to keep her in the good books. Offer, offer to dance with her? Maybe this opportunity arrives. If she invites you back to your hotel room, don't turn her down for pity's sake. Ms. Wakazuki is a very important business connection to us. I hate for you to turn her against us. I'll do my best, sir. I reassure my boss. Not that I really need to. The fullest extent of my relationship with Wakazuki isn't public knowledge, but it's progressed further than I think even my boss realizes. We bound together by a strong bond. I care for Marina deeply, and I'm sure she cares for me. That'll be why she invited me to this event. I bet she wanted to spend time with me too. This isn't just a good gig, this is a chance to spend a bit of quality time with a woman I love. I can't hardly wait. I just wonder what sort of dress she'll be wearing to this most prestigious of events. That's a good question, actually. 
Time passes and the day of Marina's charity ball arrives. I buy myself a nice suit several days in advance, just like my boss instructed. It's costly, but buying it outright isn't much more than expensive than renting. Moreover, I tell myself, if Marina invites me even more to these events, I need a nice suit of my own. Maybe it's presumptuous of me to assume I'll receive any future invitations like this, but I don't see why Marina wouldn't. We are partners after all, and I don't mean that in the business sense. Nice place you got here. Wow. Very, very, very fancy. The ball takes place in a fancy government building with smooth marble floors and gilt chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. I don't arrive late by any means, but there's already a lot of people thronging the ballroom when I do arrive. There's a lot of wealthy women wearing extravagant, elaborate dresses, but nobody looks more beautiful than Marina. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> nice of you to actually dress quite elegantly this fine evening. She's represent in a crimson gown with a very low back. The dress clings to her every little curve and it makes her look more gorgeous than ever. When when she sees me, she flints over to me, a glass of champagne in one hand and a bright smile upon her makeup face. Rookie, it's really wonderful to see you again. It's good to see you too, Marina. But should you really be talking to me right now? Why shouldn't I? Marina purses her lips. You forgot I'm the one who arranged this event. I should allow to speak to whomever I wish. I'm not saying you can't, it's just... I crank my neck around the luxurious room. Most of the people are unfamiliar to me, but a handful look familiar. I'm sure I've seen... I've seen the man in the suit, though that's not very descriptive. All men here wearing are wearing suits by the trespel table of Chenepples before. Is he a politician? I distinctly remember seeing him on TV. I think that bald man conversing with a gaggle of pretty leggy ladies like a, is a politician too. Isn't he the Minister of Welfare? Education? It's something like that. That woman over there is a popular Inca singer from the 80s and I'm sure the man she's walking with arm to arm is the owner of a large electronics company. This place is crawling with rich, the mighty, and the important. How many connections does Marina have anyway? There's a lot of people here that are way more influenced than me. Shouldn't you be trying to butter them up? All in due time, my dear Hiroki. The mere fact I invited you here is to gather of elites should be enough to flatter most of their egos. You're quite right that I have to do a bit more schmoozing throughout the night, but I can spare at least a few minutes with you, for you. But I'm nothing special. Darling, please. Marina hands her glass a half drink, half drunk champagne to a conveniently passed waiter, then takes my hand on her own. To me, you are the most person, most important person here. You might not have as much money as the rest of this crowd, but I know you from on a far more personal level than most. I know that you are a sweet, kind man who would do anything to help those in need. That is m more than it can be said for most. But this is a charity event. I doubt these people would have come here if they didn't want to help those in need? Oh, no. Marina wrinkles her nose. When you've been at 
many of these events as I have, you'll learn that this is all for show. These people are posturing. Posturing, sorry. <sighs> they want to look good for the cameras, the newspapers, and the general public. That's why they come to these events like this, and that's why they donate so much of their money to charity. Well, that and the tax breaks. You can write donations off, so you don't need to pay tax on them. Most of them are very rich, due as a means to safeguard to their costs. I'd wager the majority of the people here are mostly self-interested. They don't really care about anything but themselves. They're different though. That's why I'm very fond of you, see? I don't think I'm all that great, but thank you for the vote, vote of confidence. I've been feeling distinctly out of the loop ever since I got here. <laughs> Other than you, nobody's come to talk to me at all. It's, it's like they can smell money. Or my lack of it. Don't pay them any heed. I won't while I'm with you. Now, Marina's expression brightens as the violin quartet in the corner begins to play. I'm rather fond of this song. Would you care to dance with me, Eriki? Oh, of course I would. I love to dance with you, Marina. In fact, I can't think of nothing I liked. You really do look beautiful in that dress, by the way. I can't wait to press you against my body. I grin my self-confidence, bolsters by my glitzky atmosphere. I f almost start to feel like an elite myself. I bet all the old guys here would be super jealous. I'm sure they will. Marina Tithers. <laughs> I'm a very popular woman. My company is in high demand. But worry not. I only have eyes for you. Now come with me. Follow my lead. Whew! By the way, I love that suit, buddy. And also... That ass! <laughs> oh! God damn. Is it getting hot in here? Oh, fuck! Alright, woman. You have impressed me with that dress. Marina takes my hand and rests it upon the smalls of her back. Our bodies are pressed up close together. I can feel Marina's chest pressed up against my own. When I inhale, I catch a whiff of her perfume. It's soft and fragrant like flowers. Now, do you feel all right? I'm getting the hang of it. Good. Then keep your eyes on me. Follow my footsteps. Don't worry about keeping time with the music. I can lead you. I have experience with this sort of thing. Marina sways to and fro with the music. The hands, her hand clasps. Ah, sorry. Her hand clasps in my own. Her white hair flutters, as does her long red gown. She looks entirely in her element. Her body is relaxed, and there's a smile on her face. Do you think you're getting the hang of this, Hiroki? Maybe. I just hope I don't step on your feet. It'll be fine, dear. Just let yourself go. Give in to the music, or... Marina smiles seductively. Pushes her full bosom up against my chest. If that is impossible, give yourself up to me. Oh! I swallowed. Marina's so seductive. It makes my spine tingle. Since her body is so close to mine, I can't help but stare at her. Nigga, what do you think I've been doing for the last few minutes? <laughs> hey now! Marina's fingers tighten about my own, she pouts. Eyes on my face while we're in public, if you please. To be quite fair, <sighs> besides the body, I would have actually looked at her eyes anyway. Her eyes look beautiful as shit. I don't mind if you want to stare at my chest later when we're alone, but at least 
At the present, you're drooling might cause something of a scandal. Oh, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's quite all right. I'm flattered that you're, like, staring so much. Really? I know I'm a bit older than you and Cosmos sometimes. I do worry I'm not enough to satisfy you. But I'm glad my body can excite you all the time. You're really not that old. <laughs> I'm older than you. By like three to four years. It's not a big deal. Besides, I look a lot younger. Your skin is something smooth. Why, thank you. You really are a charmer. Now let's keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three. Marina counts the beats of the song while I try to keep up. Dancing was a struggle at first, but I think I'm starting to get a hang of it. My body relaxed. It's seemingly against Marina's, and I almost find myself enjoying the experience. I never knew dancing could be so much fun. There you are, you're natural. You really think so? Mm-hmm. You haven't stepped on my feet just yet, haven't you? She giggles. With a bit more instruction, you'll be a fine dancer. You just need to be more confident in yourself. I wish we could dance with the rest of the night away, but alas, the song is soon to end. She sighs. After this, I'll have to start playing the hostess again. I'll have to leave you on my own for a while, is that all right? It'll be fine. I have some photographs I need to take anyway. Ah, oh, yes, you are here to work. Not pleasure, aren't you? I suppose we are the same in that regard. Well then, I shouldn't keep you too much longer, but hit a key. Marina's fingers squeeze mine instantly. Would you care to come back to my hotel with me when all this is over? Dancing with you was fun, but this wasn't quite enough to satisfy me. I would love to spend more time with you in private. Wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, you know it, sweetheart. The next morning! Well, that went faster than I expected. <laughs> well, good things. And look at you getting back in your business attire. Ah, it's been a long time since I've had a refreshing night's sleep. You're quite a comfortable pillow, Hiragi. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's only a little past 7 a.m. Marina is already up and dressed in her standard business attire. Her white blonde hair has been combed and her suit is devoid of wrinkles. I guess Marina must have prepared to spend the night in the hotel to have a change of clothes in hand. She really does think of everything. She left the, the slinky red dress she wore last night in a heap of the hotel room floor, but it since has been picked up, said Stressed. Is now hanging outside the wardrobe in case in a protective plastic bag. I guess it might have been a little too late to worry about protecting that dress. She'd been seized and ranked to the high heaven, and I might even got a, her a little wet. <laughs> uh, things have gotten kind of wild last night. I'm not surprised. Hey, Marina. I was wondering. Yes, what is it? How much did that dress cost? Now let me see. It was quite expensive. It was a designer piece by Marina trots out the name of a high-end brand with international renowned. Renowned, sorry. I don't know all that much about fashion, but a dress that fashion house must have cost an enormous amount. I wouldn't be surprised if it worth more than the full month, no, six months of my salary. Ah, jeez. It's only now, in the dawn of morning, that I realize the amount of a nominee, sorry, of last night's thoughtlessness. I figured that dress was a designer piece, but I didn't realize it was from that company. If I hadn't known, I would have been more careful with it. I'm sorry, Marina. I really, truly didn't mean to get it dirty. What? Hmm? What's this? Marina grins. You don't think I care about that silly dress more than our relationship, do you? What? But, uh... Marina's tone makes me pause. 
I blanket her nonplussed. But that dress isn't silly. That costs it less than a million yen. Only a million. A million ra uh, Marina, <laughs> damn it. Marina raised a neatly sculptured eyebrow. My dear Haruki, you are underestimating me. This place is entirely this piece is entirely unique. It was tailored made by me, by a professional in this industry, to my exact specifications. It was more than the one million yen. I would never wear something so cheap to widely publicize charity events of my own organizing. Huh? My dumbstruck stare widens. Are you saying one million yen is cheap? To a woman like me? Yes, it is. You forget, I am always in the public eye. People expect more of me than they do the average woman. <laughs> I have a lot of expectations to meet. If I do not wear the most expensive, unique pieces of my own charity events, I would be mocked and branded as branded a pauper. Pauper, excuse me. That would be stories run by my poor fashionable sensibility in magazines across the country. Really? Really? The world of tabloid magazines is nasty and cutthroat. Our sculptuous reporters always try to drag the richest and famous down. I thought you would have known that working in the industry yourself. I guess, but I don't work for a tabloid magazine. The succubus day. Oh, sorry. The succubus of daily. Maybe a little trashy, but it's still a proper newspaper. We don't run all the main many articles on celebs clothing. My boss is far more interested in what lies beneath said clothing than what how much it costs anyway. <laughs> but of course. Marina giggles. I know you aren't a vulture like the rest, darling, but others aren't as forgiving as you are. Once one has reached the heights, one has to be aware of their appearance all at all times. It's almost as tiring as running your own company. If I'm perfectly honest, the continued media attention is exhausting. But I do my best to give them a show all the same. As such, I really couldn't afford to wear a dress that costs any less than 3 million yen. That is the bare minimum. Anything less would invite scorn. The three million? No way! Looking at the crumpled dress slathered within the plastic wrap, then back to Marina, towards the dress, and over to Marina again, I knew the dress was a big deal, but e this is even worse than I feared. That dress is ridiculously, insanely costly. And I tore it like an animal! How could I have been so stupid? At this rate, I might as well... I might as well have defaced all the paintings in the Levure. I am sorry, Marina. I really am the worst. There, there. Don't be so hard on yourself, dear. Marina's eyes soften. I'm not a seller by the dress. Y you're not? No. It was expensive, but it was only a dress. It's nothing more important than a garment to conceal my body in a fulfillment it's functioned well. It looks simply splendid in it. I looked simply splendid in it last night, didn't I? Oh, absolutely! You look You looked amazing. Yes. I can remember how the dress clung to every one of her voluptuous curves. It made her look incredibly sexy. With a pair of us dancing together, Feel so lightheaded, I thought I might collapse. Then we went back to this hotel, and well, with that, we've come back to where we stand it, haven't we? Thank you very much, Marina Beams. She must be pleased by my compliments, though I'm not sure why. I bet Marina is getting lavish with praise on the regular. I'm a nobody, really. My opinion isn't all that special. But Marina seems v to value it all the same. Is it because she values me? I'm glad you like the dress, Hideki. I did pick it up while thinking of you. Truthfully, 
I did want to attract a lot of stares. That was my job as the hostess of the last night's ball. It was my duty to shine. But I wanted to shine for your sake too. I wanted to look marvelous. So you would pay attention to me and only me. I can see it in your face. Of course you would. Huh? Really? I blinked. I didn't think you were the jealous type. I'm not, normally. I have no qualms of sharing you with my sisters. They are fellow succubi like myself, but it's hard for humans to resist them. But the thought of being passed over in the favor of a normal human woman is a different matter. Marina pouts cutefully, her arms folded. I knew there would be a lot of other famous women at the event. It would be a lie if I said I wasn't a little concerned. Marina, honey, honey, let me say this to you directly, and I'll say this to the camera. Hideki just said that we have no taste in any of those riches out there. What makes you think any of those women were interested in us? By any chance? Please, explain that to me. Hmm? Hmm? Come on, Marina, you know better than that. You know better than that that I would choose them over you? <laughs> Is that what she's assuming? <laughs> she must be out of her fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I never cared so much of any of my previous conquests, but well, you're special. Did you find that strange? No, I find that endearing. I smile at Marina fondly. I was under the impression she bought that dress to make a good impression of the paparazzi. Everything I said, everything she said earlier, attested to as much, but I now, I see, I know, really, but now I know, I see, it must have had other motives, ulterior motives, excuse me. <laughs> she didn't just want to look good for the sake of the gossip magazines and TV specials. She was thinking about me too. She spent over three million yen so she c she can look good for my sake. Thinking about it like that, it's kind of crazy. I know you can't put a price on love, but three million yen is astronomical. I could never ever dream of having all that money, but Marina's used to insure, uh, insure, ins ins insure, 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 my eyes wouldn't wander. If, if that isn't proof of our love, I don't know what is. Thank you for thinking of me, Marina. It makes me happy. Your taste is, your tastes were impeccable, as always. You look so good in that dress. I couldn't look at anybody else, much less think of them. You were the only one in my, on my mind all evening. Oh, Hiroki. Marina smiles. Do you really mean that? I do, you stole my heart all over again. Though, you didn't really need to buy an expensive dress. You look so pretty, I bet. You look good in anything, even in a potato sack. <laughs> well, I could hardly show, show up my own ball with a potato sack, fair enough. Though I do appreciate the compliment. Marina chuckles. I suppose I was foolish for being concerned. In a room full of human women, I shall always sign the brightest. Normal woman cannot hope to compete with a succubi. Eh, that might be true, but I don't like you solely because you're a succubus. I like you for your own sake. You've been looking out for me since the day we met. You act cool and aloof, but I think you're a very kind woman. You're cute. What? I, I can't believe you would call me cute, mature, or sexy. Yes, but not cute. This isn't my archetype. If you like cute girls, you better off taking talking to AU or Cosmos. AU and Cosmos are cute too, but you're cute in a different way. No, no I'm not. If you think that, you must need new glasses. You can say whatever you like, but Marina, I stab a finger in her direction. You can't stop me from thinking that you're cute. Last night, you cuddled in the Bet with me like a stray cat. You were, you were particularly adorable. 
You were so sweet, my heart almost stopped beating. Oh, really? That sounds serious. Marina tries to look and sound unaffected. <laughs> She's clearing her throat and coils a strain of white hair around her fingers. But I can see that she's shaking. <laughs> and her face says otherwise. In that case, you should probably see a cardiologist. I don't need to. There's nothing wrong with my heart. There are my sincere, truthful feelings. I think you're cute. And you better accept it. Well, hmm. This is quite novel for me, but in that case... Marina draws a breath. She straightens her shoulders and then says firmly, if you, if you want me to accept that I am cute, which I do not believe, then I want you to accept that I do not care about the fate my dress has suffered. It is an expensive piece, yes, but I, can aff I could afford it. I knew I would be dancing, so I would prepare it to get a bit rumpled. It is perfectly salvageable. I can soon fix it up again. You'll never know it got crisp to begin with. I might be wealthy, but I'm not very wasteful. I'll let all my fine possessions... I let... Oh, sorry. <laughs> my brain. It might... I might be wealthy, but I'm not very wasteful. It'll let all my fine possessions go to ruins. I take good tear... Good tear. I take good care of all my belongings so do not fret you've done nothing to apologize for and i won't hear of you feeling guilty ah <laughs> all right fine i'll stop apologizing about your dress if you stop if you stop saying you're not cute all right fine it's a deal marina holds out her hand i take it in on my own and we get on to a disagreement there now we've made a verbal contract if you go back on your word, I'll immobilize your entire team. Don't be surprised if next time we meet, it's at court. At court? But I don't have that sort of money. You bankrupt me. But he best not re on our agreement. Everybody wins. Marina smiles thinly in the same style I suspect she does even clinking complex business deals. This woman, though her cute side is undeniable, now Marina legally can't deny it. She's kind of scary, too. Her backbone is made of sturdy, sturdy stuff. I guess she's going to be fierce, or she'll not we'll be able to build her business empire as she has. It's no wonder she's so respected. Now the days where we on, I would love to stay with you and talk, but my company will not manage itself. I feel I ought to be going soon, but... Before I do, I would like to ask you something. Uh, it might sound silly, but... What is it, Marina? Are you happy, Hideki? Now that's quite a broad question. Happiness isn't all that cut and dry. It entails a lot of things, from one job satisfaction to these finances to their Fam familiar relationships to their friendships. Mental health is also pretty important as it's the physical. <clears throat> People can be satisfied in one area but woefully deficient in the other. Happiness comes and goes in an unpredictable pattern. It's more erratic than meditatory paths of birds and fish. For a long while, I don't think I was very pleased with any of my li any aspects of my life. I lived in a turn tumble down apartment. I've had a long commitment to work, and I felt like my boss never really valued me. I rarely spoke to my parents. I had a few friends, and I didn't have a girlfriend. The only real relationship I had was with my desk, my laptop, and maybe my camera. It was kind of miserable, not gonna lie. But things have changed so much since I met at U, then Marina. I still live in an economy apartment. I still have a tiring commute to work. And 
I still don't like my boss all that much, but these issues don't wear on me the way they did. If I had to stop and think about it seriously, then yeah. I return Marina's query with a smile. I am happy, and I know I owe you a good chunk of that to you. Your influence has opened up a lot of doors in my life. I really can't thank you enough. You're welcome, dear. Marina shrugs off my thanks as though she hasn't done anything all up that amazing. Maybe in her eyes she hasn't. Marina is far, far wealthier than I am, so she can afford to pull the strings and distribute favors like it's nothing. In the green scheme of things, she must have gone that far out of her way for my sake. But it's appreciated all the same. She didn't have to do anything. She couldn't have done nothing. She didn't know me, but she still helped me. She really is a kind woman. I think it's only fair that I should try to help you whatever I can. You're a very important person to me, Hiroki. And you are happy, I am happy too. Though, I've had other partners in the past. They didn't move my heart as you did. I'm one of the oldest among my, fa my sisters, but I'm a bit more cynical about romance, but I care about you a lot. I might even love you. I'm a succubus, and you're a human, but you're more than just a prey to me. You're very, very dear to me. You make that quite apparent. I never once doubt your feelings. Well, that is good. You are the most precious beloved partner. I adore you, so please, take care of yourself. Don't let yourself get swept away in the arms of another. I don't mind sharing with you and my sisters, as I've said. That is no problem. But there is one person I absolutely do not want to share with under any circumstances. Who would that be? What? This conversation took a bit of a dark turn. I thought Marina meant to reassure her love to me before heading off to another day at work. But maybe not. This doesn't sound like a piece of motherly advice to sound like a real genuine warning. Why? This is kind of intense. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I almost think I'm in some sort of danger. I laugh a little, trying to diffuse the tension, but it doesn't work. The strange, sombre atmosphere <laughs> remains, settling upon my shoulders like a layer of freshly fallen snow. That is exactly what I'm saying. Yes, you, uh, uh. Marina's words send a shiver running down my spine. Suddenly, I feel cold. My little joke doesn't seem all that funny anymore. Am I really in danger? Well, I can't say for certain, but there's a chance I'm overreacting, but Hifumi had some business with Lady Yu a week prior, and she had returned to the succubus realm for a brief spell. Have you heard of Lady Yu Hideki? Yes, I have. Hifumi told me a little bit about her. She told me use rules you rules around, around succubi and she me i mean for me act her as an advisor that is indeed correct lady you is rather young as far as rulers is she wasn't supposed to ascend to throne uh that should be hifumi's job but she abdicated the crown then went to lady you as the lot next in line to inherit I suppose you knew this too? Hafumi mentioned it briefly. That's good. And I needn't burden you to too many explanations. I would go into many details. I don't have that much time right now, but I spoke to Hifumi a few days ago when she returned from the succubus realm. She was a bit shaken, actually. She was? But why? Did something happen? Nothing, nothing had happened just yet, but seems like Lady Yu has taken a liking to a particular human boy. A boy who is, for inexplicable reasons, thonged for a ho by a ho whole harem of succubi. It shouldn't take you too long to guess who this boy might be. Well, after hearing all that, there's only one poor person who could be. You mean... My gesture towards myself. Me? Raina nods. Clever boy. I knew you'd work it out. It's not like... It's a great mystery, but isn't this kind of weird? 
Why would the succubus princess would be interested in me? I'm not that special. How could you say that? You... When you were in snark, the hearts of five succubus already, clearly you must be. It's very rare for one man to be attract the attention of so many succubi. And it's rare for one man to withstand the brunt of one succubus passion. Succubus is passion, excuse me, let alone five. Thinking about it in such terms, it'll be, it's to be expected, lady, you would take an interest in you at some point. I was foolish to, for not considering it, but this lady, you, has she been keeping tabs on me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Marina nods. As lady, you needs to manage the succubus realm, she doesn't often leave it. But we succubi have ways of observing the human world from our own. From what I've gathered, Lady Yu has been watching you for quite some time. For all I know, she might be watching you right now. We wouldn't be none the wiser. Ah. I glanced around the hotel and suddenly paranoid. I never considered the possibilities of being observed before. <sighs> Simply hasn't occurred to me. That Marina's planted the idea in my mind. However, I can't shake it. My skin prickles. I feel uneasy. Was Lady Yu watching me? With that one evening when I was with a you and Hazel? What about the time Cosmos showed up at my house? She was wearing a bunny suit costume and last night when I was in the hotel room with Marina. If she's watching me, there's n I had no way of knowing. Now that is unnerving. So, this lady you, what does she want with me? Of course, I'm not certain. It is possible she, oh, she means only to watch you to see what will happen, but Fumi is concerned that she's trying to acquaintance here in the human world. If she intrigues her enough, there's a chance that she could try to take take you with her to the succubus realm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Then, you might... They might... She might make you her plaything. Plaything. That's right. If that were to happen, she, you would be completely at her mercy. She would lock you up in Succubus Realm and never ever let you leave. Lady Yu is a jealous, possessive sort. If she gets her hand on you, there's no telling what would happen. So going back with our ex is not an option? Fucking hell! This has gone straight out of the fucking window! Jesus! I'm worried about you. So please, stay safe. Don't let your guard down and don't trust her. I love you a lot. Raina's eyes bore into mine. She looks very intense and serious. I'd be heartbroken if you stays you away from me. <sighs> well, this is where we're gonna have to end it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitch. We are literally aiming for a goal this time and most importantly we are also aiming a goal for this youtube channel as well we are aiming for 400 subscribers and we are literally about to hit at least close to 20 followers on twitch so feel free to give me a follow down there and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel but also make sure to check out my discord server including the content creators server on the link in the description down below make sure to Leave a like on this video because I've been checking. A lot of y'all been seeing this video, but y'all haven't liked. Make sure to like this video. Aki. Aki. Anyway, it's been Zed, guys. Later.